Shadow of Destiny. I don't actually remember if this game works in widescreen. <coughs> Motherfuck. This is like a super old PS1 game. I don't know what year it came out, but I remember playing it right after the PS2 came out. Or well, not long after I got a PS2. <coughs> Which was like maybe the year after it came out, or like a month or two after it came out. I don't really remember. I got it for Christmas, whatever year. This game is a weird fucking game. Hey, 2001, yeah, so I was right. April 8th? Or August 4th? I mean, depending on... Depending on where you're from. It's annoying being Canadian, because it could be either one here. People do it both the American and the European way. So it's like impossible to ever fucking know. has died! It's a very Dreamcast-esque fucking game. Like, it's that super early... It's not quite PS2 quality. Like, it's... Well, it is, obviously, but it's... It's got more of that Shenmue... kind of quality. Like, it's no Silent Hill 2. That game was such an insane leap forward in terms of, like, storytelling. People really don't understand just how revolutionary Silent Hill 2 was for its time. <clears throat> Cinematically, it's not even comparable to other games that came out in 2001. What the... Final oh, Fantasy X was on? the same way. People shit on that game well, a lot, Earth but it's so good. Even to this yeah, day, Final Fantasy X is incredible. Bingo. Who, who's there? This is working I'm well, though. To be dead. I... Damn it, who is this? Okay, in Japanese, I would be Aka. <laughs> Not at all. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. You are strongly fated today. You see, you are destined to die. What? But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Thanks, but no thanks. Sounds too good to be true. Why? Why? Can't you trust me? Of course not. I get it. You're the big S, the devil. In exchange for your immortal soul and all that, am I right? Your soul? Oh, please. In this day and age? <laughs> if I do have an agenda, it's that you survive. Let me think it over a bit. Of course. Go ahead. But don't keep me waiting too long. I don't much like to be left hanging. Well, what reason is there to procrastinate? You either just die here and now, or you prevent it. It's that simple. What have you got to lose? All right. I'm sorry I called you the devil. I don't want to die yet. Please, help me. 
But I want you to be aware of something. You have to understand that the destiny that awaits you is a potent one, which means that just because you've managed to avoid death once doesn't mean you're free of the threat. Unless you tear out its very root, destiny can't be cheated. So, coming back to life isn't the hard part, huh? Man, but that can't be helped. You're right, but that's also where your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time-shifting powers. I'm going to give you this digipad, please. Use it well. It's like the fucking digipad from... <coughs> uh... But it's not as though you can use it anywhere or any time. Breath of the Wild. This will respond to phenomena that have some relevance to you as its user. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the digipad by pushing on the square button. After that, you specify the destination time and enter the X button to be sent to that time. All right? Sure. You can't solve the real problem by just using it when you're about to die. It's better to make use of it to remove the underlying cause of your death. Oh, and one more thing. Something else? Yes, and it's very important. If the response begins in the time space you've traveled out to, please come back immediately. Other people and objects can be just left in another time and stay intact. But that isn't true for you as the user. If it starts to respond, you need to come back quickly or you won't be able to get back at all. Just be careful of that. It looks like time is something even more serious than I know. Good luck. I am... This dude sounds so much... Not the, the ethereal dude, but this character... Sounds so fucking similar to Harry Mason <clears throat> from Silent Hill 1. Like, the acting is very stilted and weird. And it's got the same tonality to it. I wonder if it's the same dude. I don't know what company made this Sir, game. Please wake up. Dev or publisher. Are you alright? I didn't pay attention. Did you feel sick or something? Hey, it's Eddie. <laughs> it's Eddie as a kid. Sir. Before he shot the dog. Yeah, I killed that dog. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried worse than the dog! <laughs> Hello? Uh -huh. oh, oh, sorry. I, I fell asleep. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana, that'll do. Okay. I genuinely forget everything about this game, and I beat it not even that long ago. I beat it when I was a kid, when it first came out. Because there wasn't exactly a lot of shit to even play on PS2. Like this, an orphan I, uh, scion of sorcery. I'll, I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here. Those were two of the first games I played on PS2. I also don't know what that achievement progress is. I really should probably turn off the notifications. Hmm. Two o'clock. I still can't believe what just happened. But since I have this digipad here, I guess it really did happen. I'm genuinely surprised this game plays in widescreen, though. 
Because I've had issues with other games that don't... <coughs> they don't actually um, have like a widescreen setting. This game, I'm pretty positive, does not have a setting like that either. Yeah, it doesn't have widescreen. Doorway emphasis. Huh, that's interesting that you can actually turn this kind of shit off. That's like really, really rare for games to have these kind of settings. I mean, fuck, you won't even have settings like that nowadays. I don't remember really what to do, but I guess we'll just talk to people. Me? A performer? Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, but this square does get a lot of performers. You know, street performers. They get a pretty big crowd going. It's kind of nice. The animation, like the, the dialogue cutscene shit, reminds me so much of Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Hauptster. Marked Platz. So this is all taking place in Deutschland. Wait, well, we have the Polish fucking. We have Polish flag? And the Kashubian flag. What the fuck? Oh, wait, no. It's not Kashubia. It's yellow, blue, and black. Huh. I wonder what that flag actually is, then. Is the Kashubia or, like, the Austrian flag is... <clears throat> One of the Austrian flags was yellow and black. Chester. I mean, obviously, it is European. The architecture is all European. What the fuck? The hell was that cutscene supposed to be? It's making me paranoid or something? Is that is that what I'm supposed to be feeling right now? I'm soulless, so I feel nothing. It's actually not, not true, but, you know. It is closed now. I do remember this place. I think it's burnt down or some shit. So yeah, I did I did replay this. I hate to be rude, but I don't have time for chit-chat. Yeah, that's understandable. Um... It's also kind of lags a bit, which is weird. I don't know if it's because of my PS2 settings or what. What do you want? Cafe Sonne. Hey, Sonne! It's uh, German for sun. This must take place in, like, eastern Germany or some shit. I don't really know. Not the country of eastern Germany, obviously. Eastern Germany didn't exist anymore by this point in time. Okay, so I can't go that way. I'm assuming that achievement is, like, experience X amount of encounters or whatever. And I do, I like using achievements because it gives you, um, kind of a guideline on what you might have missed in the game. Unfortunately, a lot of games just don't have, like, a large enough list of achievements. Is this one going to count as an, another individual one? I guess this is as far as I go. No, it doesn't. Okay. So I think it's counting like unique 
interactions or something. And then eventually you see yourself juggling, <laughs> which is fucking weird. Why does this keep happening? There's... yeah. You eventually see yourself juggling in this square. I don't remember how or when, but... <clears throat> oh, I guess I should go in here. I didn't even realize that was an option. Oops. Okay, well, typical horrible camera angles for the time. Who is this? May I help you? If you need a city map, please help yourself. By the way, if you want to look at the map, just press the triangle button. Oh, cool. Like, from what I remember, you end up going through various points in time. And you interact with people. Um over a bunch of different time frames. It's crazy that I don't remember shit though, because I, uh, I just beat this a few years ago. I think it was maybe during COVID. Life is so boring, isn't it? Anything I can do for you? Not really, lady. Well, you could fucking help me by figuring out where the fuck I should go. <clears throat> I'm guessing I just have to... This was closed, right? Yeah, it's closed. And yeah, sorry for the camera angles. The camera's just fucking wonky in this game. Typical old school... Bullshit cameras. Seriously, though, what the fuck do you want from me, game? I can't go down any of these paths, because dogs block them. Antique shop, Wela. Eula. Eule. I, I don't know how the hell you'd pronounce that in German, honestly. Evidently, I need to study German again. Wasn't... wasn't that here? So maybe I just can't enter... Okay, let's go to the church, I guess. Hi. <laughs> Why, why do you keep doing that? I know it's to try and like build to- Oh, I can't go to the church. Because the entrance is on the other side of this fucking fence. All the entrances to all these places are blocked. Alchemist house? I also used to confuse this game and another game that's- Kind of similar in that it's got a lot of like time mm, travel shit. Oh, here told. we go. Well, I never noticed this place before. I do remember something about this place. This place is like super important to the story, from what I remember. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Actually, I just happened to stop by, and I was wondering if you could tell me my fortune. Am I going to die soon? For you, I will do it for free. Thanks. I really need this. Please, don't just give me the usual niceties. This is very serious for me. Don't worry. Okay, Harry. Sit the fuck down. 
So? The fated hour is 2.30. What? Whatever I foresee, you can change. If you take no action, the fate I see will befall you for certain. But I seem to see in you the strength to defy fate itself. The power to defy fate? If, for instance, and this is only an example, your fate is to be stabbed while taking a walk after you leave this place, and this would happen if you are alone at the fated hour. But if you know what awaits you, you would find people to be with, so that you would not be by yourself, unprotected. But then what? If you are among others at the fated hour, the assassin must give up his quarry, and fate would have been defied. But a single change will affect all else that follows it. How it changes, no one can tell. There are too many threads, too many tangles. I cannot help you with what lies so far ahead. And your actions could bring even greater danger. But if fate can be changed, you should fight as hard as you can. If you can return here after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell you the next fortune. All right. I think I can trust you. Did that say Asmodeus on the... What does that say? Oh, I think it's just fucking gibberish. <clears throat> it's also backwards, I'm pretty sure, on the wall. So... What does this little thing want from me? Oh. Okay. For a date? Do me a favor. Go away. I look strange. Mind your own business. I mean, bitch, you got a fucking flower on your head. And you look like a jester. <laughs> Who the fuck dresses like that? I guess this is as far as I go. Can I get you to go to the square? Have you seen my mother? My okay. mother. Guess I'll go to the square. What? So I guess I convinced her to go to the square? That other chick's already there, so... I... Hey, there's a thing on the ground. Hmm. You want me to come to the square at 2.30? What's going to happen in the square? A performer, maybe? Well, all right. I don't have anything else to do anyway. Okay. Got energy unit. Oh, okay. Replenish my fucking squeege bar. You're the mother of that kid, girl? right? Yeah. Ooh, at the square. Oh, thank you. I'll go find her there. Okay. 
It's glowing now, so I'm guessing that was everyone I had to talk to. Because that was everyone, right? <clears throat> I keep pressing triangle. Wait. Liebensbaum? Oh, I was thinking... <laughs> so the, uh... I'm pretty sure the... Genocide of the Jews was called Lieben's Realm. I'm almost positive. I, I'm probably wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's like almost the same word. Uh, excuse me, have you seen a man walking around here? I yes, I'm a man walking around here, and that gave me something towards an achievement. I wonder if I have to interact with her like nine times or something. Okay, well, I guess go to the future now. At least it's not overly cryptic with what you need to do. I figured this shit out when I was ten years old, so... Can't imagine at 33 I'm gonna have issues. was right. It's me. <clears throat> and this shit's like the most obvious shit ever. Right? Like it's very obvious that that's you. Hey, now here's a guy with no worries. From what I remember, it's really obvious. Like, I remember knowing this as a kid, bef long before it's revealed to you. Maybe I'm wrong, though. There was someone behind me. Oh, but it looks like the crowd scared him off. Oh, that fortune teller, she told me to come back. I should go look her up again. I really want to know what that flag is. Thanks, I had a ball. Okay. Wow, it took 25 minutes for that? Jesus Christ. Did not feel like it was that long. Did my fate change? Did anything happen? Well... You didn't die. So that happened. You also altered the course you of history for every one of those people you had to go there. To. I am beginning <clears throat> to see a new thread. But... Ah... Oh, you are still in danger. Okay, you fucking asshole, Oreo. Can you stop out. fucking what? with the mouse? You mean I still haven't gotten to the root of the problem? You're adorable, you but Jesus, get the fuck out of here. Even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you the next fortune. Okay. I, I didn't even hear what she said. I was too focused on trying to see what the fuck my cat's doing. I... Come on, get out! Oh my god, dude. I want to find out <clears throat> what this flag means. Or what it's of. And say red, you fucking useless goddamn. Why did it. Would it just replace the fucking word blue with red? Black, blue, yellow, horizontal, straight flag. I mean, I don't trust you, AI. You're 
usually wrong. I didn't say red, you motherfucking assholes. <clears throat> Wow, that's a lot of different Germany flags. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Um Black, blue, yellow. Hey, well, that's close. That's also close. There's a lot of little kingdoms and shit. Black, yellow, blue. We're getting closer. What? It's black, blue, yellow, though. I'm pretty sure I've seen this one of these flags because there's all kinds of little kingdoms in Germany that have their own flags and shit still. They're not kingdoms anymore, but they used to be, obviously. Like Bavaria and shit. <clears throat> well, I don't know. I've seen... Very similar looking flags. Maybe it's just a fictional one. But the flag of Poland's there. Like, why the fuck is the Polish flag there? So I was uh, looking at the footage for Shadow of Destiny, and I realized that when I was here, there was literally this option. But I was not looking <laughs> at the options at the top. And it has all these fucking things. So we've got really similar flags here. We got some German sounding ones. We got... At first I was thinking Mecklenburg might have been the flag, but I couldn't remember whether Mecklenburg had black on it, but it doesn't. It has red. It's blue, yellow, red, or something. Um, Mecklenburg's an area in Germany. East Germany, ironically enough, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see, actually, I can just look that up. Mecklenburg. Blue, yellow, red. So, yeah, I... And, yeah, it's right next to Poland. So, you know, that was another reason I was like, hey, Poland flag, Mecklenburg, maybe? No, not Mecklenburg. Um, <clears throat> but then, you know, there's there's Macallan flag, whatever. There's, you know, there's this also. It's a Polish flag, Powiat Um similar. And then you got. Gelderland, which, like, that one's basically the closest that I could find. Uh, I don't know where Gelderland is. Gelderland. Oh, it's in the Netherlands, okay. Like, I, yeah, all right. Interesting. So, yeah, and then there's Eschweiler, which, again, I don't know where that is. Um, but yeah, none of them are yellow, blue, black. I have not been able to find a single flag that is in this fucking configuration right here. And it kind of drives me nuts. Like, I, I really hope someone can somehow see this video at some point and be like, hey, I know what flag that is, because it's just going to drive me insane. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just thought I would add that little bit there. All right. 
Yeah. There's a lot of interesting writing on the walls and shit. <clears throat> So, okay. Hey, stop! Dude, don't follow him. Go fucking put out whatever fire he just started. Damn it! Yeah, there you go. Good job. That took care of it. But who was that? person responsible for the fire some wienery ginger with white shirt wait wasn't that the kid who was crying am I just gonna teleport directly into a building that's no longer on fire now Still on fire. What? Oh. Okay. So this is what it means to change the past. All right. <laughs> sure. I guess. That was the whole chapter. Go kidoki. Well, this game certainly isn't difficult. Sir. Sir. Okay. Oh, good. I wasn't sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh no, that was all right. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? Huh? It's such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. If you make it into a necklace, I bet it will look great on a lot of girls. Well, uh, this isn't mine. What? But, but, but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? And where'd so you find you came it? came looking for me just to give me that? Uh, well, my shift's over anyway, and I thought maybe I'd just try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Your shift's over. Why are you still wearing the apron? <laughs> no, this lighter is mine. Thanks. You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. I feel so tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. There's a lot just of worked all day. Are a lot tougher. <laughs> like me. What the <laughs> fuck did you just say? <laughs> You're an interesting guy. My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? Should I make you a necklace with this red stone? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Really? Tomorrow. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Um, uh-huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then, tomorrow. Jesus Christ, this dude's a wiener. It reminds me of the dude, the husband from Phantasmagoria. Jesus Christ, every half hour this motherfucker's getting murked. Great. Oh man. It looks like there's someone hiding behind a tree.
and that someone is out to get you. Now, how do you suppose you can prevent that? Dude, I don't know. Cut the tree down? Burn it? Set a trap? I mean, there's a million ways you could probably prevent this shit from happening. Do I just come in here and stop her from even going to meet me? Hey, it's Eddie again. What's up, what? fatty? Don't talk to me if you've got nothing to say. Dude, I thought this was like a kid. Like some fucking 12-year-old fatty boy. But that's like a full-grown man, apparently. What? Don't talk to me if you've got nothing to say. Dude, your voice is as deep as mine. What the fuck? And as raspy, too. What the hell? It's so fucking weird. <laughs> okay, who are you, sir? Hmm, okay. Um, alright, so nobody exists anymore, apparently. I could just steal all the money. Huh, some weird-ass sea fighting. It's kind of weird. I should probably actually set up this emulator a bit better. But, I don't know. It's fine for now, it seems. <clears throat> Sir. Uh, is it Sir. just gonna play the oh, same cutscene? What's the matter? Are you going somewhere? Uh, no. Is there someone after me? Behind the tree? <laughs> well, apparently, yes. Okay, so this is the first time you go to one of the... What the hell? I'm taking her with me? I didn't expect that. Well, you have a nerve, my girl. Really? What with that one being punished yesterday, too? What is it that you oh, don't understand? Oh, shit, understand? I remember this. What's so difficult about being more quiet like? Dressing above one's station is an offense, you know. Do you want to be punished? Like that woman? What's wrong with wearing what one likes? And this dress is one of my quieter ones. Really good ladies. You'd like to wear this kind of a dress yourself, wouldn't you? Well, I never! A little neighborly advice and she sasses me! Alright! This bitch we'll is gonna get burned as a here. witch. That's right! You tell her! Oh! That's not very pleasant, is it? Come on. God let's damn, just let is she this cute, pass. though? Holy All fuck. Right. Well, then, in exchange for us not telling the law, you'll make us dresses for free. Right, that is. You're a seamstress, you are. That's right, you tell her. You'll make me one, too. Oh, dear. I don't see how I could do a thing like that. We're doing this just to be obliging. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what are you? Who are you? What's this? It's dark already. Get yourselves home, everyone. Fetch up! Oh, sir! This man just suddenly... I see now. It was you. Oh yeah, she's definitely gonna get burned this as a witch now. This girl called for help. Wicked little sly boot. The hussy! Sir, you must arrest her at once! What? Why should you think a thing like that? What's this now? What are you doing here? Man, the facial animations in this are better than some games you see today. What the fuck is up with that? Where do you 
think you're going? Uh, nowhere, I guess. I. Um. What's that for? Oh, you know what? I probably have to, yeah, probably have to use it later. Lord Almighty! Fire from his hand! Listen carefully. Stop bothering this woman and go home. If you do as I say, no harm will come to you. This time. S sir? Th Mr. Watchman? Sir? Th this. What? And you will keep what happened here a secret. Understand? Yes. Everyone, give your word. I promise. Forgive us, please. Please. Mm. <laughs> uh, will that be uh, all? If it is, uh, you could perhaps go away now. And everyone, go home too. Godspeed. <laughs> it's so silly. Like, this is not what would happen. Like, you go back in time and, oh, you use a lighter and magically you have fire in your hand. That's that's oh, such a dumb, you. reductionist me. way to look at. <laughs> no, nobody you need to be afraid of. People always think but that shit. About that. Did you see a girl? She's about your age. What? Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Look, <laughs> why don't you stop by my house? It's right over there. We can't stay out here, and you can tell me everything inside. Let me introduce myself. I'm Margaret. I'm Ike. Ike Kush. Oh. Well, Ike, Kush. shall we? All right. Um, but yeah, like... They would have just been like, how the fuck did you do that with your hand? Because, yeah, in 1580, they knew how flint and tinder worked. People actually, like, people act like that's, like, just making fire some magical thing back then. They just would have wanted to know how the fuck you did it. Like, kerosene existed? It's how they have lamps. Like, that's how there's light in all of these places, is kerosene lamps. Fuel very much existed back in this time. <clears throat> it's so silly. <laughs> the whole concept that, like, oh, you put, you have fire in your hand, you're a magician. Mother, I'm home. How are you feeling? I am all right today. There hasn't been a great deal of pain. Is someone with you? A guest? Wow! Would you look at those strange clothes? We met in the square. Would you look He's at your strange face? Isn't that right? Yeah, something like that. Why, your friend's voice is remarkably like your father's. Hmm, do you think so? Where is father anyway? She has such a cute voice. He closed up voice. down there again. He won't come up, even with mother like this. It's all right, Hugo. I love your father better for doing what he believes in. Is that how it is? Hugo, you'll carry on after your father someday, won't you? I... I, I don't know yet. Well, maybe I'll just go take a peek. I wonder if Father had his dinner yet. Yeah, the sound effect on that door is a combination of two different sounds, too. Wasn't the same generic... Who the fuck does Please, that to someone? With that. What is that? Uh, it's a machine, a really complicated one. It's, uh, well, I, I don't know how to explain it to you. Let me guess. It, it, 
makes whatever dish you want appear? <laughs> no. Okay, that was just wishful thinking. Well, then... It maps the heavens? No, it doesn't do that. All right, then. It... I know! It lets you travel through time! Uh, and you've come from the future, am I right? Well, actually, uh... What? I'm right? How could that be? Uh, how is that possible? And is that I why you've how got they such have the little flashes on? in the well, eyes. Uh, you... <laughs> Mother, are you all right? Hugo. Hugo, you ought not bother our guest so. I'm sorry. He's very curious about everything, just like his father. I suppose he'll become a scientist as well once he grows to be a man. I'm not interested in alchemy, at least not right now. How can I be when it can't even produce a medicine to make Mother well again? Perhaps not yet, but with time and effort, one never knows. I'm sure that's what your father believes, dear. So, your father's an alchemist, huh? Well, something like that. He makes medicine for people, and does stuff like mixing and grinding strange stones and metals. He's always doing that sort of thing. And I mean always, all the time! Hugo, dear. <laughs> Father's completely wrapped up in his experiments. I couldn't even get him to look my way. So what else is new? He's always staring at the kiln. He hasn't even noticed that I was born. Hugo, don't talk that way. You were looking for someone, weren't you? Tell me, what does she look like? Is this girl like your, you know? No, it, it's it's not anything like that. I actually don't remember too well because I just met her, but she was blonde and had her hair tied back kind of high, and I think she was wearing something reddish. Reddish, huh? Can't say I remember anyone like that. I guess I'll go look around. Thank you for everything. Oh, you're leaving already? It's dark outside, so be careful. Let me know if you find her. I'll keep an eye out. Tough luck, sis. Guess you're just not his type. Oh, what are you talking about? Well, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Oh no, I'm sorry I couldn't help much. See you soon, all right? Okie dokie. Yeah, I was right. That, that fortune teller place, I'm pretty sure is this building, isn't it? These, uh, the characters here are, like, the most important in the story, from what I remember. <clears throat> and, uh, I have to save this chick, I'm pretty sure. Come to laugh at me like all the rest, have you? It's a terrible time we live in. You put on a pretty dress and they punish you. I thought the squire would be merciful, but a blonde girl? I wouldn't know a thing about that. Huh. Who are you? Haven't seen you around before. A woman? Don't know anything about that. If Is I it? don't get this seedling planted by the end of the day, the foreman will have a what for? <laughs> oh, I have to kick this guy in the fucking face so he stops planting this tree. What do you think you're doing? Only the squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. Uh, it's a really weird roundabout way to make sure that that tree just never gets born. The concept that it would somehow 
only be as small as it is, though, after fucking 320 years? 420 years? <laughs> is crazy. Wait, 420, holy shit. 421. I guess, but you know. Who, who are you, sir? The squire's manor is beyond that gate. The squire's crest? Come to think of it, the seal on the manor house is about to fall off. Everyone is saying how it ought to be repaired. This really does have such a similar vibe to uh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance, though. Really interesting. I wonder if some of the same people worked on that game. But I'm pretty sure they were designed in very different places. Then again, I might be wrong about this even being made in Japan. Like, I was pretty sure this game was Japanese, but maybe I'm wrong about that. Yay, energy! Oh, man. This is already at an hour, almost. What's this? It is closed now. seen anyone. How about the square? There may be someone there who can help. Yo, yeah, dude. I was already in the square. Nobody helped me here. Atelier. I do not know what an atelier is. I've played Atelier Iris, but I've only played like an hour of it. I, I really should play that game. Did I try? I tried to go in here, right? And it was closed. Yeah. Or locked. Okay. <clears throat> okay, and I would have probably tried to get into the Atelier as well. look up what an atelier actually is. Yeah, I kind of expect everything to be closed at this time of day. But the church was also closed. So I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what it wants me to do. I gotta end this anyways. Oh. I just stole a fucking ladder from somebody. What am I gonna use that for? Hey, 
say there's no flag on here. That seems highly unlikely that in the 1500s there wouldn't actually be some kind of coat of arms or flag on what I assume is still a city building. Maybe it's just a manor though, I don't know. And again, flags weren't as, like, set in stone, or as common as they are nowadays, I don't think. Because the dye to actually make flags was hard to come by back in the day. It's actually why you don't see purple flags basically ever. One of the very few examples is like the Spain flag, the Republic of Spain flag from like pre-World War II era had purple on it. It's not very many though, because purple is a very hard color to come by in nature. Enough to make an entire country's flag purple. Nowadays, you can just do whatever the fuck you want, obviously, but... Not back in the 1500s. Okay, I genuinely do not remember. I know there's like... From what I remember, there's a spot... One of these buildings, you have to go up to the second floor. With the ladder. But I don't remember which one. One of these buildings, from what I remember, has, like, an open window. Man. I don't know. I'm gonna end this here, and I'll look it up. Au revoir!